hey what's up guys once again we are back with another tutorial i know i'm posting a crazy amount of tutorial on the playstation 5 but people need to know about this that's all i gotta say so in this video right here guys i'm basically going to show you how to stop your transfer data from your playstation 4 because it kind of like glitch it out when you go to storage and all that it's a long story i know some of you guys are trying to know how to stop your transfer data also i'm going to show you how to install games and games that you already have installed but you want to reinstall it and i'm going to show you how to stop the um install games okay guys so yeah so i'm going to show you all of that in this video right here okay so first thing first click on the playstation 4 logo button all right and basically i'm going to show you how to stop your transfer data from your playstation 4 because that's literally messing you up it's so laggy on any game because you got your transfer data still downloading games and all that and you just don't want that okay it's really annoying that's all i gotta say so what you're gonna do is come over here where you said download and upload click on that right there okay now you can actually click on the game right here like that all right and over here, you see we said download and copy. You will see something that's called transfer data. All you have to do is click on that and then cancel and delete. If you do see that, all right, that will basically cancel your transfer data from your PlayStation 4 if anybody want to do that. Also, if you want to install all the games beside that, you can actually do that. Because at this moment, guys, I couldn't even download this because of transfer data. I know some of you guys are having that type of problem. So let me just show you one more time, okay? If you are, for example, in the home screen, okay? Uh, just click on the PlayStation 4 logo button like that, all right? And uh, your logo button, you should see it. It's in your control, by the way. And you just got to come over here where it said download and upload. And then just click on any of these. Doesn't really matter. Just click X like that. And it should take you over here. And then you're going to see, like I said, you're going to see the transfer data PlayStation 4 cancel that. Because that's going to mess you up. And that's going to steal all your storage. Okay. When I meant to say storage, let me just show you something real quick. Uh, these are your storage right here. Uh, just go over here and this is going to be your storage storage is going to be full of it because of the data Okay, because the data is still saying that this storage, uh, you know uh, Space is reserved from a system data needed Game and app blah 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 and all that is basically on a different console That's what it's saying It's being used on a different console which should be your PlayStation 4 um, console, okay? So if you have problem with that, do not worry about it. Just click on the PlayStation 4 logo button. Come over here. We say download or upload. Click on that. Click on the game, okay, whichever one, and it should take you here. And then as soon as you see, for example, I'm just showing it an example because I don't have it. I already canceled it because that was being really annoying, and I couldn't download these games right here. What you're going to do is basically press um the, the three little line on the PlayStation 4 controller just like that. Or just click on X. It don't really matter. Uh, and then just cancel and delete. All right. Now, if you want to install a game, like you see how I installed the game and all that, you could basically uh, just resume it just like that. All right. Or if you want to stop it, if you want to stop it, you could pause. You could click on pause. You see, we said pause, and it will basically pause it. All right. Now, if you want to download a game, okay. If you want to download a game, if you want to install a game. Uh, all you have to do is come all the way over here, all right, and just go to game library. And this is all the game that you have for the PlayStation 4. Uh, just basically reinstall it back. Just click download like that, all right. And then once you download it, all right, uh, you are good to go, all right. And at this moment, uh, you can back out and then just go press the PlayStation 4 logo button and then come over here where it said download and upload. Click on that. Click X and it should be all the way in the bottom. Okay. It's going to pop up here. All right, guys. And that's how you do it, guys. That's how you download games and all that. And uh, I think you should be good to go after this. All right. But that's how you do it because you people need to know all the tutorial about this. If you want to know about any of the tutorial, the playlist is going to be in the description below. It show you how to create a party. It show you how to close a game. It show you a lot of stuff. Even stop 
uh, screen reader. All right, that's really annoying. <laughs> I basically made a video of that because that was being really annoying. But yeah, go check it out. Okay, guys, and thank you so much for liking the video, subscribing, and all that. Okay, but once again, if you want to, like I say, if you want to download more games beside that you could all right you could definitely download more games you could download this game it don't really matter just click on download it's gonna take a little bit long you see uh if, if you have high speed internet it's gonna go faster but if you had that transfer data that's gonna mess you up because uh it basically avoid you to download any other games like it's just really annoying and then once you basically click on download it should download all right so as you can see right here uh it, it, it tell me to download again you see the problem is because you have that transfer data so you're gonna have to cancel that and then you gotta wait for a little bit and then once you wait for a little bit it should come back okay but i'm telling you you should not have no problem at all and like i said just um just come over here and then go to upload and download and then just keep downloading these games right here okay also if it does give you this error you see how he said give you error and all that it's because uh it said can install you don't have enough free space that's because of my transfer data okay that was that took literally all my gigabytes that i had it was insane it was really insane like i i never had that much problem but like i said if you have that problem just like once you see transfer data from PlayStation 4, cancel it. Just cancel it. But that's going to mess you up. Just cancel it and delete. Really, is annoying. Just reinstall it back. Reinstall those games uh, back on the PlayStation 4. Just do it like that. It's a faster way, easier way, and you have no problem when it comes down like this, okay? Because it is very, very helpful. This video is very helpful, I'm telling you, uh, because I was having a huge problem on what was going on and how to cancel that transfer data from the PlayStation 4, okay? Uh, that was a mistake that I did, and I don't want you guys to do that. Do not do that. That really messed up. Um, I don't know if that ever happened on the PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4, but that's bad. That that transfer data from the, you know, to, to, to transfer all your data from your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation 5, that's bad. That's super bad. That make your game go super slow. That takes all your PlayStation uh, 5 memories, or should I say gigabyte, because it's gigabytes, and it makes the game go slow. Like, you're playing games and you try to, like, shoot at anybody, your game start glitching, which is weird, you know? And I, I don't want you guys to have that type of problem. So, yeah, so uh, that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for smacking the like, subscribe to the channel, and all that. I do appreciate that. And uh, once again, hopefully you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys. Uh, until y'all next time. Sorry about that, guys. Take care. Peace.